In her new book, Former Vanderpump Rules, star Stassi Schroeder discusses her dismissal from the show and acknowledges her grave mistakes. Stassi Schroeder has discussed the circumstances behind her termination from Vanderpump Rules in her most recent book, Off With My Head. The Definitive Basic Bitch Handbook to Surviving Rock Bottom, which was published over two years after she was sacked. Bravo viewers were first made aware of Stassi's plight when a previously unreleased podcast segment showed her and Kristen Doubt informing the police via a tip line that a black lady who was being accused of robbery might be their former co-star Faith Stowers. Following the unsettling error, Stassi's career experienced numerous difficulties, one of which was her termination from her Bravo program in 2020. Undoubtedly costly, Stassi's error resulted in a string of unlucky setbacks. First, following eight seasons of their reality series on the network, Bravo fired her and Kristen. Subsequently, Stassi received a call from her agent informing her that the agency would no longer be representing her after Variety revealed the information on her PR team's dismissal. Next, iTunes removed Stassi's podcast from the platform. She was 10 weeks pregnant with her daughter Hartford when she also lost her animated series contract with Sony. But years after the podcast host and her co-star Kristen from Vanderpump Rules were let go from the Bravo program, she went back to explore the turbulent period in her new book, Off With My Head. Us Weekly reports that the Bravo alumna started out her account by admitting that she aired greatly before to her dismissal in June 2020. The TV personality acknowledged that it was not appropriate for her to charge Faith with a crime. She confessed that she exaggerated the circumstances to make a compelling podcast story. Additionally, Stassi said that just because it wasn't about race for her, it didn't mean that Faith didn't care about race. But the Next Level Basic author disclosed that Jax Taylor's infidelity with Faith during season 6 of the popular show served as the driving force behind her actions. Faith's actions harmed her buddy terribly, the Bravo alum pointed out, and she was absolutely motivated by that. Stassi continued, I was motivated by the fact that I thought she was guilty of these crimes. The author added that she essentially believed herself to be the karma god, merely distributing the karma according to her perception of where it ought to be. Stassi recorded the lost endorsement deals in the first chapter. She further stated that the network had intended to use her marriage to Bo Clark as a springboard for a spin-off featuring the remaining members of the original group, but that concept was likewise shelved. The former cast member of Vanderpump Rules had already seen her career soar to a high peak of success before she fell. More proof that Stassi's problems at the time went beyond what viewers witnessed on screen comes from her book. Given that Stassi lost so many endorsements, one has to ask how she handled this terrible period of time. It's admirable, though, that Stassi acknowledged her errors and took some time to come to terms with the incident, even though it had been a while. Fans can now get a copy of Stassi's new book to gain additional understanding of her 2020 predicament.